Hello beautiful people of the internet and what's up, it's your girl Keisha. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a skin update, talking about some of the products that I've been using recently, two in particular that I'm hoping will give a really big difference in my skin. The two products that I'm talking about is Retin-A Micro, which is a tetranoline cream, as well as the Faded Topicals Brightening Cream. And I've been using both of these for a month now, so this will be a month update. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, well, let's get started. So, first, an update on my skin. Prior to starting the Tetranoin Gel, I was using La Roche Posay's Adapalene Gel, 0.1% for about a year and a half, I want to say. And that honestly truly changed the way my skin behaved in terms of my acne journey. I don't break out anymore, barely. If I do, it's a little bit on my forehead just because of the oils in my hair, but barely ever break out. I don't get cystic acne anymore, and you know, my skin texture is getting a lot better as well. However, I just felt like at a certain point my skin plateaued, I needed something a little bit more advanced. So I found this really interesting website called Felix.com and it's a way to get prescription products if you have allergies, acne, so on and so forth to use. There are dermatologists on there as well that will have a little consultation with you and just figure out what better suits your needs. And so it's really quick and easy. I think it's about $30 for the consultation and then the price of the product itself. In terms of shipping for Felix, I think it took about two weeks for it to get to me. Understanding that there is a demic going on, so shipping is a little bit more delayed. But generally, yeah, I think it was around two weeks or so. And what's really cool is you can actually submit it towards your taxes at the end of the year so you can get it claimed back under healthcare. And this video is not sponsored by Felix, but I would love if you guys would contact me, that'd be wonderful. But I'll leave a link to their website down below so you guys can take a look for yourselves. The one that they recommended for me was this one in particular. This is Tetranoin 0.04 Retin-A Micro. And so that's the one I have been using. Now, initially, because I was using retinol for such a long time, I actually did not experience any purging at all, which is wonderful. But I did experience a lot of dryness, a lot of peeling around my mouth still to this day, and a lot around my nose. There's also a little bit of peeling around my eyes because I was using the Inculist eye cream retinol. So there's a little peeling here and around the edges. On my nose. And around my mouth, like the entire thing was peeling yesterday. But the rest of my skin is really smooth. Surprisingly. However, I'm okay with that. I just keep my skin as hydrated as possible. On the note of hydration, what I have been using to try to combat some of that dryness is first the Triple Peptide Cactus Oasis Serum from You to the People. This one was sent to me through PR, which is a beautiful hyaluronic acid. It plumps, it firms your skin, it hydrates. I use this both in the morning and in the evening, and I just love how much hydration it leaves on my skin. Um, I love this specifically in the morning, but I do use it at night sometimes if I need it. The other product that I'm using is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. And I talked about this before in my um, 2021 favorites video, but I love using niacinamide alongside a retinol just because it really helps to even out your skin, make sure that it's kind of protected from the dryness or the irritation that can possibly come from that product. But this has been truly, truly helpful in that regard. You guys know I'm a lover of niacinamide for, I've, I'm always talking about niacinamide, but yeah. And for moisturizer, I'm using the La Roche-Posay Bone Triple Action Anti-Itching Repairing Immediate, see it's a long name, okay? This one right here. This one was also sent to me PR, but it is so thick. I love this cream. I use it every single night. I do two layers of it actually. So I put on my hydrators, then I put on my tetranoin. I let that sit for 60 seconds or so before putting on a moisturizer. And that's just so it can fully absorb and I'm not moving it around. So I use two layers of this. I'll put it on, on my skin, let it sit, let it absorb, and then put on the second layer. And I have absolutely been loving how this has been treating my skin. I also did have like a rash after coming back from the Caribbean because I got a heat rash. So amazing. So this has been helpful for keeping that um, well as well. Once a week or so, I will do a buttery mask. The one that I'm using is the like butter from Topicals. It's their hydrating mask for dry sensitive skin. And this one has some really great ingredients in it. It has green tea, um, macadocide. I am not pronouncing that properly. You already know. 
turmeric, it has rhubarb and ginseng, and this just makes your skin feel so moisturized. So I use this once a week or twice a week, depending on how my skin feels, and this is just like a really nice moisturizing mask to make sure that my skin is getting that moisturization that it needs. Now, onto pigments, the star of the show. So I was using the Dr. V pigmentation kit for, I wanna say six or seven months at this point, and there was a difference in my skin, but I didn't really see anything too drastic. I did want to try something else. And a lot of people recommended to me the Faded Topical Serum. Now this actually isn't the first time that I've tried this brightening serum before, but I never really was consistent on it for my face. Because I got that kit, I kind of started using it on my body instead until it's finished. So I now repurchased another topicals and I'm going to be using this on my face. The same way I did with the Dr. V kit, I will be giving you guys updates every three months, give or take two or three months, to show you guys what it looks like. With pigmentation, it helps to have a product that is able to have different types of tyrosinase inhibitors, not just simply one. Like like for example, vitamin C is great for pigmentation, but you can get better, be much better results by using a combination of kojic acid, alpha arbutin, different things that will help you. And so the fact that this has kojic acid, transemic acid, trans <laughs> transemic acid, that's a word, melatonin, niacinamide, licorice root, and azelaic acid makes it just a power punch combination. And it's not as expensive as some of the other uh, pigmentation serums that I've seen on the market already. Uh, that was a very hard sentence to say for some reason. It says, use once a week to start and work your way up to daily use. Use sun protection during the day as well. It says, do not use with AHAs, BHAs, or retinols. So I get a lot of questions sometimes regarding retinols and pigmentation treatments. As long as you're not using them in the same routine, you should be fine. When they say not to use it together, it means like don't put this on and then put retinol on. Like don't use them together back to back. But if you use this four times a week, use the retinol three times a week at night and this in the morning, and then you exfoliate on the days that you're not using these products, you should be just fine, which is exactly what I'm doing. Most of my exfoliations are either masks or they are wash off treatments. So they don't really conflict with the pigmentation or the uh, retinol that I'm using. I've used this for a month now and I feel like it absorbs really quickly into the skin. It isn't really that expensive. Like both of them together, they were sold out first of all for so long. You guys were like, oh my god, you should try Faded. You should try Faded. As if I could get my hands on Faded. But I got both of them, I think for $75 as a duo on the Sephora website. Well, actually, I think I purchased them straight from Topicals. I know that with the Faded, they did actually update the ingredients. It doesn't smell the same as it did before. The smell isn't my favorite, and it still isn't my favorite, but they did update it, so it's a little bit better, a little bit easier on the nose. So I do enjoy that quite a bit. So it goes on like a gel cream serum type of consistency, and then it leaves like this kind of almost like a sticky texture to your skin. I don't know how I like that. Yeah, there's like a film on your skin. It's not a bad thing, but it's just something to know. So that is a little update I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried Tetranoin, if you tried the fading the cream as well, what was your experience with it? I would love to hear your thoughts. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in the next one. Bye.